We now have all four base pairs, each one stored in its own layer. I'm going to put the base pairs together in a sequence that matches this DNA molecule taken from the protein data bank. You can see the 16 base pairs in the diagram and you can download the sequence as a text file. If I press enter here, there is the sequence. I have added some spaces to make it easier to see what's going on. The first two bases are not paired. The next 16 bases are the bases attached to the red backbone going upwards. And these 16 bases are the bases attached to the yellow backbone going downwards. I've copied the top sequence as it is down to here and I've copied the second sequence in reverse order down to here and that gives me a sequence of 16 base pairs. The first base pair consists of a base A connected to the red backbone paired with a base T connected to the yellow backbone. Going back to Blender this is the base pair that we need with the red base A connected to the red backbone. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter, press M to move the duplicate to the first layer. Go to the first layer. The base pair will be in the way when I bring the other pairs in, so I'm going to click the eye icon to hide it. The next pair that I want has a yellow base C connected to the red backbone. The pair is stored in the fifth layer. Select the pair, duplicate, shift D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the first layer. Go to the first layer and set the Z value of the duplicate to 1. The next pair in the sequence has a blue base T connected to the red backbone and is stored in the third layer. Select the pair, duplicate, shift D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the first layer. Go into the first layer and set the Z location to 2. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel. The next pair has the red base A connected to the red backbone and is stored in the second layer. Select the pair, duplicate, shift D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the first layer. In the first layer set the Z location to 3. The next pair, a yellow base C connected to the red backbone, is already in the first layer. Select it, duplicate, shift D and enter and set the Z value of the duplicate to 4. The next pair, again, is already in the first layer. Select it, duplicate, shift D and enter, and set the Z location of the duplicate to 5. Next, another A. We've got one already selected, shift D and enter, and set the Z location to 6. Next, a T, select, shift D and enter and set the Z location to 7. We have eventually come to a G. The pair is stored in the fourth layer, select it, shift D and enter, press M to move the duplicate to the first layer. Go to the first layer and set the Z location of the duplicate to 8. I have jumped ahead to the final pair. Select a matching pair, shift D and enter, and set the Z location to 15. Unhide the first pair. Select all by type mesh and click join. Go into edit mode, click remove doubles and back 
into object mode, change the Z location to 7.5 and change the view to the front view. With the 3D cursor snapped to the center, in the object menu transform origin to 3D cursor. View selected and name the object DNA. Before I add the twist, I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Click Modifiers, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface, and change the type of subdivision to Simple. To add the twist, add Modifier Simple Deform and set the angle to 540. If you want the model to look more like the diagram, then halve the Z scale, 0.1 becomes 0.05. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put a link to the Protein Database website in the description. I'll put the finished model for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk Click the link for Blender there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.